In this shop, we work on sub-assemblies. That is the ground zero beginning of where the F-16 program starts. Different blocks we have, 30s, 40s, 50s, coming from different bases all around the U.S. All these jets are older, a lot older than before I was born too, which is kind of cool to work on. Being someone that actually has worked on those, it's a good feeling because I know that I'm putting the best thing out there for, for the guys who are serving. From my background, I never thought I'd be doing anything like this. We do everything from the mating of the intake skins to the location and drill up of fracture critical bulkheads, uh, landing gear hinges, basically a lot of drilling, countersinking, and locating of parts that are really critical because they're the center of our airplane and everything's kind of located off of those. Yeah, so we come in at 5.30, we have our morning meeting, we go over our quality, safety FOD, going over what tools we might need, and then they're giving out assignments. And this is a new thing every day. We don't know what's going to happen when we pull the jet apart. The site itself is a very team-built, team-oriented type site. And if anyone can do anything to help you, in my experience, everyone that can will help you. Everybody works together as one team to accomplish one goal. You got to take the utmost responsibility with everything you work on. It's a lot of personal integrity that goes into what we build here at Lockheed because somebody's life is on the line with every part we touch. So I did a five years in the Air Force. I loved serving and getting to travel a lot, but being able to work on the same jets as before and have a job that directly affects people in the uniform and helping the military out and still know that you're helping support the mission. So it's really cool to be a part of something like that. You have the city of Greenville. If you want the city life, you can go downtown and do all the shops and restaurants and stuff. But there's so much more outside of Greenville and you don't have to drive four hours to get to it. Whatever you like, you can find it here. It's a great place to raise your children. And the people seem very nice too. It's a very nice part of the country. Right now we're building the F-16. It's not been done here in Greenville before. So when it's complete to say, hey, I was there when the first F-16 flew out of Greenville, it's gonna be something that you can be proud of and you can be just a part of it. And that's something I'm looking forward to.